so grateful for the voices of people who are smarter and more eloquent than I am right now, including the voices of the Psalms, the voices of Christians throughout time and throughout history and throughout the world. One of those voices is Pastor Nadia Boltzweber, who um, started a church in Denver, Colorado called the House for All Sinners and Saints. And so today's prayers will be adapted from hers. As we pray, I invite you to to add your own prayers in the comments. Oh God, we pray for those who are giving birth alone, for those who are grieving without their people, for the beleaguered parents who ran out of creative ideas two weeks ago, for those who don't know where this week's grocery money will come from, for everyone who has watched the date of their wedding or their graduation, or their birthday, or their dissertation defense, or their long hope for a vacation, or their family reunion, or the non-essential medical procedure they hoped would change their life, who have watched these dates come and go, we pray. O oh Lord, for the exhausted and the despairing, for the healthcare workers and for the cleaning crews, for the leaders who are struggling to lead and the parents who are struggling to parent, for the lonely and the isolated, we pray. Lord, we ask that your comfort, your presence, and your peace would be felt. And if that's not possible, could you just nudge the right person to reach out and call them, even if it's us? We just ask that, Lord, just that. Holy God, hear our prayers. But also, Holy God, hear our praises for the animals who get to have their people home all day, for a slow enough life for some of us that allows for baking or cooking or a garden or the use of cloth napkins, for the comfort of jeans and slippers and sweatpants, for the bursts of creativity that keep coming from artists and musicians and writers, for the people on the internet and the people on TV and the people in our lives who are getting us through this, we give you thanks and praise God. For the journalists who keep going so that we can be informed. For the gratitude shown for the health workers and the grocery store cashiers and the delivery folks, the sanitation crews, the Trader Joe's checker outers. We give you thanks, oh God. For the two rolls of toilet paper or the homemade cards that neighbors leave as gifts. For the food drives that are being held, the masks that are being sewn for the love that is being shown. Oh Lord, we give you thanks. Oh God, for the beauty of the earth, the glory of the skies, we give you thanks. Oh God, for the things we no longer take for granted, we give you thanks. Lord, we are sorry for the ways that we are only just now being drawn back to you being drawn back to the heart of who we are, to the us that you have made us to be. But we thank you that your grace is immeasurable, that your love is beyond ceasing. Forgive us, we pray, that you would free us so that we can joyfully obey you, so that we can enjoy you and love our neighbors well. We ask all these things in the name of Jesus, and we pray as he taught us to pray, saying, our Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and power, and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.